Numbers are a critical part of the way we understand our world. In this video series, I would like to explore numbers, but not just any ordinary numbers. We are going to explore big numbers. So far, we have encountered some truly massive numbers. The most recent number is the incredible tree three, which extends far beyond human comprehension to even explain how big it really is. We have made use of some very clever mathematical approaches to build these numbers and employed the incredibly useful fast growing hierarchy to be able to understand how these numbers compare to each other. Now, we mark a departure from these methods as we enter a new realm of large numbers. Tree is a faster than light growth function, and tree three is the most massive thing we have yet encountered. But even bigger numbers have been defined. Numbers like SSCG3, which is not only bigger than tree three, but bigger than tree of tree of tree etc., a tree three number of times. It would take a while to explain how big SSCG3 is, but that's not where we are going today. We are going much, much bigger. For many years, mathematicians and philosophers alike have discussed and argued the finer points of large numbers, and competitions are even held where the participants try to outdo each other in developing the largest finite number. One such competition, called the Big Number Duel, took place in 2007 between Professor Augustin Rayo of MIT and Professor Adam Elga of Princeton University. The two took turns building larger and larger numbers, until Rayo proposed a number that Elga could not beat. In fact, the number Ryo described, called Ryo's number, was at the time the largest named number. Even today, numbers suggested to be larger than Ryo's number are debated, with Ryo's number often used as the metric of comparison for contenders of the largest named number title. So what is Ryo's number? What makes it so big? Before jumping in, let's explore yet another new way of describing big numbers. To do this, think about the language we use when describing numbers. Typically, we use things like Arabic numerals, multiplication signs, and exponential signs to describe big numbers. So let's set up a little number game of our own using this language. First, only using Arabic numerals, multiplication, and addition, let's create the biggest number we can using at most three symbols. We can probably agree that the best option would be 999. Any other combination of three symbols, even using multiplication, will not be as large as 999. So this is our biggest number. What if we extend the possible symbols we can use? Let's include an exponential symbol. Now we could do 9 raised to the 9, which is around 387 million. That's much, much bigger than 999. So it really matters what symbols we can use. It also matters how many symbols we are allowed. Using three symbols gets us to 387 million. But what about four symbols? 10 raised to the 9 is 1 billion. 99 raised to the 9 is 9 times 10 to the 17. However, if we arrange it to 9 raised to the 99, that is approximately 3 times 10 to the 94. This is an incredible jump in size. Imagine now what we could do with 10 symbols. Now we are blowing past numbers like Googleplex. However, at this rate, we would still need trillions of symbols and still never get close to numbers like Moser's number or Graham's number. 
so it would help to have a better set of symbols to choose from. This is where the genius of Ryo's number comes in. To construct Ryo's number, we will use a set of symbols and rules from the language of first order set theory. Set theory is a branch of mathematics that is actually foundational for all of mathematics and uses a logic-based language to build a framework for mathematical theories and models. We don't currently have the time to delve into this in depth. However, the benefit of using this language is that it is very precise and avoids the vagueness, paradoxes, and circular logic that can come about from trying to describe mathematical concepts in so-called plain language. This makes set theory a great choice for our purposes here. It is important to note that first order set theory is not very efficient at describing numbers less than a Google. We could define the first few numbers as follows, although these aren't the only ways to write these numbers. Zero can be defined here, and one can be defined here, which already is using a lot of symbols. However, if we allow ourselves to use 300 to 400 of these symbols, we can start defining numbers as large as these. We can very quickly begin to write definitions for truly enormous numbers. In fact, although the exact number is not precisely estimated, we can even define the incredible tree 3 if we are able to use several thousand symbols. This might only take up a few pages of a printed document. Ryo proposed his new number using this language, which can be roughly described as follows. If you restrict yourself to only using the notation from first order set theory and allow yourself to use exactly one Google symbols, there exists some number that is the largest number you can possibly define using those symbols. Let's call this number RBN, or a really big number. Ryo's number is the smallest number that is bigger than RBN. This number is so enormous that it would require a Google symbols to define the number just smaller than it. If we were to write that out using atom-sized font, we would effectively fill the entire observable universe with our writings. Ryo's number is so unthinkably massive, it even leaves numbers like tree 3 looking insignificant in comparison, and exists in a realm of staggering incomprehension, almost impervious to our attempts to understand it. This is where we will end our journey of big numbers. Though this is not at all the end of big numbers in any sense. There are arguably larger numbers than Ryo's number, although many of them are not well defined and follow the same premise as Ryo's number. But even these are merely stepping stones in the never-ending search for larger and larger numbers, a search that builds our understanding of the nature of mathematics and stretches our capacity to understand our universe. The world of big numbers truly goes as far as you are willing to go. So thank you for joining me on this journey of exploration as we learn about the wonder of big numbers.